Well, to leave their mark on MLS history, FC Dallas must first dig itself out of a huge hole as they trail Seattle 3-0 in aggregate of the Western Conference semifinals. Here in studio, Walker Zimmerman, defender for FC Dallas. So just how can you guys pull off this miracle situation? Well, we've been in this spot before. Um, we just came back from a huge CONCACAF Champions League game where we were down 2-0 and came back and scored five straight. Um, so we're a team that we can score, we can score quickly, um, and the key thing is going to be obviously keeping them at zero uh, because if they score, it'll become that much harder. Uh, let's go back last week in Seattle. I know we don't want to talk about it too much, but as scoreless at halftime, but in, in a 10-minute span, though, it seemed like everything just fell apart for a brief period of time. What exactly mm -hmm. happened? Right. It's, it's one of those things where we went back and looked at the, the game film, and I think everyone was pretty disappointed with with the nature in which that they scored goals. Um, came from lack of concentration for sure. Um, you hate to give up a goal off of your own corner kick where the other team countered and, and you're out of shape as a team. And so those little mistakes are something that's very uncharacteristic for us. Um, and so it's, it's something that we, we looked at and we corrected and looking forward to getting back on track Sunday. Do you think with all the, what's going on with your team, the history that's possibly potentially there, did, did the pressure, do you feel like it got to you guys or was it just a, just a minor blip? I don't think so. I think we're a team that, you know, our staff um, helps us maintain that level-headed um, matter of concentration within the group. And I think it's just uh, those few plays that really came back to bite us. But I don't think our minds were, were too far off on – uh, getting too far down the road or looking to get an MLS Cup too early. Now, eight teams scored more goals in the regular season than you guys. Uh, you have to take some chances tomorrow against Seattle, but uh, will we see a different type of attack or just stick to what you guys do best? We're, we're definitely going to have to go out there looking for goals. Uh, this isn't a game that we can afford to win one or two zero. We got to score. Um, so I think you're going to see us put a lot of pressure on them, definitely get into the attack more often. and. And uh, that's all we can do at this point is kind of guns blazing, go out and uh, try and get some goals. Now, if you haven't been to a game, this is the, the, the style that people want to see. They may be not, not be uh, soccer fans. There's going to be obviously a lot of action uh, tomorrow night against Seattle. All right. Now, you played Hero against uh, Seattle last year. Uh, familiar territory for you? Or uh, can we expect those same type of heroics again? I hope so. I hope so. That was hands down one of the best uh, soccer games I've, I've ever been a part of. Um, just the nature of that comeback just showed the character that we have within our group. And so tomorrow, uh, I think we're looking for the same mentality. You know, the never give up, never die, never quit mentality that has gotten us to where we are. Now, you guys lose Fabian Castillo midway through the season. You lose Mauro uh, to his injury. That would completely debilitate teams, but you guys continue to, to progress and, and win the Supporter Shield, uh, which is, is the best team in the MLS in the regular season. How has this team been so close and been able to continue the success that you guys have? Well, it certainly hasn't come without the hard work. I mean, this started way back in, you look at January when we reported for preseason, and we had a lot of new guys come in. Uh, we had a lot of depth come into our team, and so that depth certainly proved itself in the Open Cup and in the Supporter Shield run. And now with these guys out, um, with you know Fabian leaving in the midseason, Morrow being hurt, it's time for guys to step up. And that's what they've been doing all year, and we look for that to continue tomorrow. Now, it's been a remarkable season for you guys. U.S. Cup, U.S. Open Cup champs, a supporter shield. Give us just a uh, give up, uh, not an option for you guys tomorrow. Uh, what's the key in, in tomorrow night's match? Like I said, we got to go out and attack. I mean, if we don't get goals, uh, we know our season's done. And that's, that's the nature of the game is uh, we're in a two-leg series and we find ourselves in a big hole. But uh, we never give up and we're, we're going to go out fighting. And so I think uh, getting a lot of people into the attack and creating some things off of set pieces, we're looking to get a goal early and, and make it a good game. Uh, history and the treble are at stake Sunday in Frisco. Walker Zimmerman of the FC Dallas, good luck tomorrow. Thank you. All right, I'm Chase Williams, Fox for Sports.